Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete many chat review. In this video, we will be taking a deep dive into the many chat software, taking a look at the pricing, the features and the customer reviews to help you decide if many chat is a good fit for your business. Now, jumping right in, let's start out with the pricing over here because we have essentially a few different options. We have this free plan right here, which is completely free of charge. This is free forever. And with this, this is going to allow you to connect this with Instagram, Facebook, and WhatsApp in order to, of course, automate your messages. This is limited though, of course, with being a free plan. This only allows you to engage up to 1000 contacts. So what this means is essentially 1000 different people can message you, you can interact with them on Instagram, and you can use the AI to do this. What I would say though, is the main limiting feature, aside from just being able to contact 1000 people, is the fact that you can't remove the ManyChat branding. So on your messages, these will all be branded with ManyChat until you upgrade to this pro plan right here. And the reason that that is such an issue is because the whole idea of using ManyChat is that your customers, the people you are engaging with, they don't know that this is an automated platform. The whole idea is you really want them to think that you personally are engaging with them. And with the ManyChat branding, it's kind of a dead giveaway and it really takes away how effective the many chat tool is. So for most people, we will want to go ahead and upgrade to this pro plan right here. With the pro plan, we get access to Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp once again, just like we do on the free plan. But you can also automate SMS text messages. So you can maybe say in your Instagram bio, text help to this number right here and then they will receive an automated reply. And you can also use this as an email marketing autoresponder. Going down to see exactly what we get on this pro plan, we do get some more features. So these are things like unlimited tags, custom fields, and advanced segments. Essentially, it just allows you to build out your automations in a much more advanced way. On top of this, this is also going to give us analytics and insights, which I will show you later in the video. We can also integrate it up with a few other apps. I will cover all of the apps we can integrate with ManyChat and of course we can actually remove the branding on this pro plan. Now going up, although this says $15 per month right here, the way that this works is it scales on the amount of contacts that you have. So it's very similar if you've ever used an email marketing tool in the way that the pricing works right here because if we open this up, you can see the number of contacts that you have, the number of people that you are engaging with. This is going to dictate how much you pay per month. So you can message up to 500 people. And by the way, the way this works is let's say that one person reaches out to you and you have five different messages that you send out through this automation tool. Well, because it's only one person, even though it's five different messages that you send, this only counts as one contact. So 500 contacts is going to be $15 per month. You can go up to 2,500 contacts and pay $25. And this is all of the pricing right here. So although it can get pretty expensive once we go beyond 300,000, the way that you need to think about this is really think about like, if you have 300,000 people reaching out to you on Instagram, you're going to be making a lot more than $1,235, right? Even if we go up here, reaching out to 5,000 people, this is going to make you a lot more than $45. So for what the tool is, I think it's very, very reasonably priced. I will also mention, I can offer you a nice little bonus here. I will leave my affiliate link in the description of this video. And if you do sign up using that link, you will be able to claim a seven day free trial of this pro plan in order to test out all of the features, remove the many chat branding, and really get a feel for the full spec, how the pro plan feels. And then finally, before we actually jump into many chat and I show you inside of the tool. Another thing to look at is Captera right here, which is a customer review software specifically for software tools. So we can see this is rated 4.6 out of five stars with 72 reviews. We can see it claims that there is no free trial available, but as I said, using my affiliate link, you can go ahead and claim that seven day free trial. And then down here, we can see all of the reviews for many chat. So feel free to come over to this website and read this if you do want to see some customer reviews, but overall a very good software rated 4.6 stars. So this is absolutely fantastic. Now jumping right into this, I have just created a brand new ManyChat account. So as you can see, this is a completely blank account and I am currently on the free trial, the seven day free trial from using my affiliate 
link. So essentially in here, this is going to be the dashboard. Uh, honestly, the dashboard is not something I use very often. Uh, so this is kind of a dead screen. There's really not much going on here unless you want to see some statistics. So we can see like how many comments you've received, how many story replies, how many DMs and how many story mentions. And this is for Instagram because Instagram is the one that I connected up. Then over on this left hand side, the next column is going to be contacts. In here, this is going to show you all of the contacts that have reached out to you on the platform that you connected up. So in my example, because I connected Instagram, anybody who reaches out to me comments on one of my posts. It really depends on the automation I have set up. But everybody who contacts me based on my automation are going to show up right here. So in this example, it would show all of their Instagram profiles. Then we have automation. So this is where we can go ahead and set up all of our automations. I will show you this in more detail later on because this is the most important aspect but this is the automations area we then have a live chat so this is really cool so what this is going to do is this is going to drag everything that you have connected up so right now i have just instagram which is why we see instagram right here and this is going to show me all of my dms that i have on instagram then if I have Facebook connected up, it's going to show me Facebook as well. So it's essentially a hub of all of the channels you have connected up, your direct messaging area. All of this is going to show up here. So you can read your DMs and comments. You can reply to them straight from ManyChat right here. And this is the more manual aspect. So of course, we have the automation aspect right here. But sometimes you might want to come along and just monitor this yourself. See if there are any questions that the AI is unable to answer or anything that you would like to go into more detail with these people. Well, you can do this right here from the ManyChat dashboard rather than opening like Instagram and Facebook. Facebook and going through and replying that. Then we're just going to go into the settings area right here because in here, this is where we can see all of the channels. So this is everything that we can connect up. And then all we need to do right now, I have my Instagram connected, but if I want to connect up Facebook Messenger as well, I can just click on connect and then sign in with Facebook. I can do the same for WhatsApp. I can just connect this up and we have access to all of the channels right here. So in terms of the automations and what this can do, let's click into the automations area. And the first thing that we can do is create different folders. So we might want to create one folder as an example for Instagram, automations and we can have this right here we can then create a new one for facebook messenger automations just like this and this is going to allow us to really organize these into different areas so if i go ahead and click into instagram right here we can then click on new automation and this is where we can set up our automation now by default we are going to have some ready go to templates Honestly, I don't really use these. These are there if you need to, especially as a beginner, you might find these quite useful. But when I'm building up more advanced automations, these are just not advanced enough for me. But we can see some of these templates are auto reply to comment in DM. We can see generate leads with stories. So if somebody swipes up from your story and replies there, then we can go ahead and reply to them, send them a link, anything else that we would like to do. And we can see all of the templates right here. But what I always do is go start from scratch right here in this top left corner and we can now go ahead and build out this automation. So each automation is first of all built up of two steps, which is the trigger. What has to happen for the automation to be triggered? So we can set this up with things like when somebody replies to the story, when somebody comments on your post or reel, when somebody sends you a message. Of course, these are Instagram specific because I just have Instagram connected up right now. But if you have like Facebook Messenger, then you will see triggers relating to Facebook Messenger. So the first part of the trigger, we can just go ahead and set this up. Let's say when somebody replies to the story, we can connect that right there. And then we can go in and customize the specifics of this trigger. So we can say somebody swipes up to anything and they basically say anything, this automation is going to trigger. Or alternatively, we can go in and say that they need to say a specific word or reaction. So in here, we could say something like help, or we could say 
get started. And now anytime somebody pops up, swipes up from my Instagram story and says either help or get started, this is going to trigger the automation. If they say something else, like if they swipe up and say hello, well, this automation is not going to be triggered because this is the way we set it up. Alternatively, we have some other options. So if I just back out and delete this right here, you can see that if I go in and I start a new trigger and I say instead that this is going to be sending me a message, we can actually actually once again go for specific words. So once again, like hello, uh, help me get started, something like this, or something that's very cool that was added pretty recently actually, is if we open this up, this can recognize the intention of a message. So we can go in and we can say, this person wants to get started with the program. And now the AI is basically going to read the message and the AI is going to say, okay, from this message, does this person want to get started with the program or are they messaging about something else entirely? And if it detects that they are speaking about getting started with the program, well, this is going to trigger. So some very awesome customization tools that we have in this area. So we now have the trigger set up. We can also add multiple triggers. So we can say when somebody sent a message, we can also say when somebody replies to a story, we can add multiple right here. And then the second step is once this trigger is activated, what are we then going to do? So we can click it and we can choose to just send a text. We can send an image. We can send a delay. So the way that the delay works is we might go ahead and say, hey, thanks for reaching out. And then to make this look more realistic, we might go ahead and add like a 10, 15 second delay just like this. And then we can add some new text and say to get started with the program, check out this link. And then the way that we add links is going to be in buttons right here. And you can see we have a bunch of different buttons, but the most easy is just to open website. We can add the link in right there and then they will see a button that they can click and they will be taken to the website, the program, whatever we are trying to sell. So that is like the basic automations right there. Uh, another thing that we can do is if we don't just want to send them straight to a link, we can actually collect emails through ManyChat. So instead of adding like a text and a button right there, we can go for data collection. We can collect emails, phone numbers, and more. So we can say, I will send the resource. Let's say that we are giving away like an ebook in return for somebody's email. So I will say, I will send the resource over. What is the best email to send, to send it to just like this. And then from here, we can go to the contacts reply and we can choose what we want to collect. So I can say the email right here. And then when they reply with an email, it's actually going to save that email, even if they reply with something else, like, hey, my email is, and then they give you their email. Well, it's going to know that this is their email and it's going to save that for you. Then we can say, are there any actions on successful input? So when somebody sends the email across, what are we going to do from there? So we can open this up and we can see that that's now going to add another part, another piece of this chain to this automation. So we can go in and add an action and we can choose exactly what we want to do. So we could maybe add a tag right here and say email received. Just like that, add the tag right there. And that's going to help us just stay organized with the automations. We can then go ahead and also add if the contact doesn't respond right here. Well, we can go ahead and we can add another action. Maybe we can tag this person as uh, didn't give email. We can add this tag right here. And then the awesome thing about this is because we now have these tags added. So we have email received and didn't give email. What we will now be able to do if I just go ahead and set live and make sure this is saved. Then we can go into the contacts area right here and we will be able to see all of the contacts and the tag that they have. So we will be able to filter through this and we can find people who have this specific tag right here that says didn't give email and we can maybe reach out to them manually right here and figure out why they didn't give their email. Or alternatively, we can set up another automation. So we could go back into automations. We could create a new automation and start from scratch. And then as the trigger, instead of saying this person reached out to us, we can go to contact event and we can say when a tag is applied to a contact and we can say this is didn't give email. We can maybe send another message and we can follow up maybe within 24 hours and say, hey, are you still interested 
or something like this, right? You get the idea. So that's a very brief overview. If I was to go into absolutely everything that you can do with this tool, this review would be multiple hours long, but hopefully this gives you some understanding of how the tool works, the pricing, and if this is a good fit for you. So that is my review of ManyChat. If you are thinking about signing up, remember you can claim a seven day free trial using the top link in the description. But either way, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.